Going on from the no jumper stuff, right? Just to end the no jumper stuff. I feel like I've got to end it on here. I feel like I've missed out a lot on maybe not fucking dating or being with fucking the Caucasian ladies out there. Because I didn't know you guys can get away with talking with, to your fucking partners of the Caucasian persuasion like this. Because this is fucking wild, right? Yuri is currently in Las Vegas. If you're wondering who Yuri is, he's a um, host at No Jumper um, and also associated with other people who are there over at No Jumper. And he's there in Las Vegas with his girlfriend, Riley, and another guy called Toke and her girlfriend. So two couples are out in Las Vegas together in an RV hanging out. But Yuri is also a live streamer, an IRL streamer, similar to like these idol Ice Poseidon, where he basically streams his entire day. Um, and it's obviously, to regular people, streaming your entire day when you're in company, it's fucking annoying. And his girlfriend, Riley, clearly doesn't like it. And they get into some, some arguments on the bus, right? And I honestly could never get away, to sp get away with speaking to a black woman like this so you guys out there that date white ladies you have it good i swear to god because if you can get away with this type of shit oh my god listen to how he speaks to his fucking girlfriend off camera live on stream in front of strangers and in front of people on the internet listen to this shit going babe or no no are you going home yuri i'm you said you were doing that I can't go home right now. It's midnight. I I would be I have to. Why would you tomorrow. tell me you're going home right tomorrow. now? Tomorrow. That's crazy how you would text me okay. that then. Tomorrow. So I don't bother you anymore. So, you, Riley's texting Yuri while he's live on stream. You know her feelings and shit, doing what girls do, and he's then calling her out for it <laughs> in front of the camera and putting her on the spot <laughs> and talking to her in that way. Kind of semi gaslighting, you know, whatever. Yo, I would have had a phone thrown to the side of my head, a punch or something would have happened. She would have maybe slapped the fucking live stream camera off or turned the Wi Fi off or something. You guys have it good over there with the white ladies. I swear to God, because Jesus Christ. Who's bothering me? You're, you are you're, no, I'm bothering you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm bothering you. You're the, one, you're the only Mr. one stressed Shipman out in this whole fucking you. camper van. Bruh. Right. Uh, yes dude and the worst thing that sound you're hearing is the text to speech somebody makes a donation so everybody's seeing them argue on stream so the people that are texting to speech in donations are then trolling both people and they're sometimes saying insulting you know and hurtful things to riley and fucking yuri is seeing these messages pop up on his phone and he's just letting them play out. He's letting the text of speech just play. He's not pausing or skipping it. He's just letting them play out. And the ones that are trolling and hurting the feelings of his girlfriend. It's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, well, yeah. Now we have Horizon telling Riley all this stuff. No. Tim no, Hanks no, dropped no, a bag of two dollars. No, Took scroll down to the bottom of Ali's Instagram. She posted the most delicious thirst traps ever. Can we encourage her to post more similar content? No, I'm bro. a mom. Yeah, she's a mom, bro. But yeah, she used to post that shit. Like, I mean, that's what it was, bro. Who cares? Why do you keep that's shaking your head at me? Stop shaking your head at me. Like, who cares? What do you think is going on there? I've got a feeling that he might be doing that thing that boys sometimes do, where he don't have the courage to break up with somebody. So you start acting like a fucking prick. You start acting really kind of combative. You start being rude just so you can push that person away from you because you don't really want to be with them. But you don't have the courage to just say, I don't want to be with you. So you just start being a bit of a brat. Or it could be because of his lack of experience with girls, he genuinely doesn't know how to like deal with women. Like he just generally just have enough clue. There's a theory on the No Jumper subreddit that he might have, um, is it autism? What's that thing where you don't know social cues? Is it autism? Is it autism? That thing where you don't have social cues? Where you, don't, you can't read people's social cues and shit and you just say shit matter-of-factly and you, you don't, yeah, Astor, that's one, not autumn. Thank you, Earth and Graveyard. Asperger's. People are saying on a sub, he might have Asperger's because he doesn't really read social cues. And the weird thing about it, if, if I'm not mistaken, Yuri is like 29. He's not like a, he's not 19 or something. He's kind of grown enough to know better. But also he admitted that Riley's his first girlfriend ever. So maybe that might explain how he's acting, but I honestly cannot believe 
that he's getting away with talking to her like this in front of people. This is the thing that's blowing my mind. Another clip showing you the beef. I do is another. No, I'm 100 percent serious. Anytime I look at you, you roll your eyes at me. Yeah, you do. Like this, yes. You're like this all the time, all day, every day. You're like this. This sink faster than the Titanic. I'm not, bro. I'm. If we can make a compilation of every time you've got annoyed and what I did beforehand, like I feel like you'd be shocked. That's a real good way to earn the respect and to make sure your partner loves you by pointing out to a woman all the mistakes they've made. <laughs> she's definitely gonna, she's definitely going to agree with you, and she's definitely gonna tell you <laughs> that everything is blessed. For sure, it's a great tactic. Great tactic to get <laughs> someone that you love to love you even more by telling them <laughs> that they always do things wrong. I fucking love it. Me too, like, just you stop getting mad at me and rolling your eyes at me like give me like some space without having to stress about what you oh. are like, going through and then also the stream at the same time it's so hard to worry about the stream and your emotions okay this guy is at the stage where he would actually break up with his girlfriend if it meant he could continue his streaming career which is fucking wild do you reckon there's boys like that out there there's guys out there out there that exist who would break up with a girl if the if it meant it was hampering their streaming which it isn't because this is just a this is like a really weird example because it's an IRL stream of a trip in Las Vegas he could compromise and say hey i'm going to stream 6 hours a day and turn it off for the rest of the time but in his head there's no compromise if he's IRL streaming he's doing it all day especially because he likes to get the tips and donations that's how he makes most of his money but to decide to pick streaming over a partner is a commitment. That's a commitment. At the same time, when you're so emo emotional, uh, constantly. This is so embarrassing. I know this is an embarrassing. I know this is embarrassing. I would love to not talk about this on stream, but no. you're putting me in the. Wor you're putting me between. You're putting no. You're you're putting me between a rock and a hard. What do you mean? What cool guy? I don't. Dude, you're putting me in the in between the worst position. Like I'm on stream right now, dude. And I have to deal with you type calling your girl dude. <laughs> Honestly, you guys have it good, man, with these ladies. I swear to God, I wish I could get away with shit like this. I wish I could. Dude, <laughs> that's a triggering. <laughs> Sometimes if you call your girl by her name during an argument, it'd make her explode. Don't call me by my fucking name. Like, I'm, like honestly, to, to call her dude, yo. Text me paragraphs and I'm just like, bro, what is going on? I'm on stream and I'm replying to this. I'm doing texting me paragraphs. Yo, I wish I could say this. I wish I could get some of this shit off. I wish doing this and I have to start a new stream and I have to do it. And bro, it's so much shit. My brain's gonna explode right now, bro. Can you guys just do your own thing and I just fucking chill out? Everybody, just take a deep breath. Dude. Okay, just it's amazing, man. And just the arguing in front of strangers also is super strange. Yeah, it's a problem. I don't know what we have to go to do differently. I don't know. Because me, arguing in front of people that you don't know isn't really on either because it's just a bit weird. Um, you don't want to make people around you feel uncomfortable. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to basically show up your girl in front of company. You don't want to look like you're one of those type of guys. You want to make a good impression in front of your friends, especially if they're friends of your girl, whatever it may be, right? And just in general, you don't want to air out your dirty laundry in front of people. But they're doing it in front of people they, you know, they're hanging out with on a double date. And they're also doing it live on stream. It's like, God almighty, man, this is fucking brutal. But it might be just the evidence of a relationship going south. It just might be one of those things, you know? Just like, they're going south. It's kind of breaking down. It was always going to get to this place. Nothing else they could do. This is a fucking hilarious one. Look, hear this. <laughs> this text of speech is fucking brilliant. Listen to this text of speech that somebody sends in. This is fucking awesome, man. Listen to this. Thanks. Oh, Yuri, the more you eat her box, the less Riley will engage in petty arguments. <laughs> 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 What happened? Another argument? I missed. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's Asperger's or just him just being super immature because he's like 29 going on 19. But Jesus Christ, man, I don't know. Like, compromise at least a little bit with your girl on a trip, especially if you're doing IRO streams. Like, as much as you want to stream, some people want to have their own fucking holidays also. You're kind of impeding on their time also. Like, I don't know. Just be a little bit, you know, a little bit understanding. Maybe, just a tiny bit. Another clip here from the argument. This, this, this is a brutal one, actually. Listen to this one. Let's play. Drop the bag of. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, exactly. Seven dirty saying it's like he hates his girl. It's like that's a, that's a feeling you get. So I I'm leaning more towards the side of him just not having the courage to say that he wants to break up because I've done it before in my in, before myself. I'm sure other boys have done it where you just kind of purposely cause arguments so that that person can leave you instead of you leaving them because you're too much of a pussy to say it. Um, so I think he's doing the same thing. But he's also that kind of guy who it will happen and then he'll be completely heartbroken over it. And he'll be wondering why he ever broke up with her. Do you know what I mean? So he kind of wants to have both things. He kind of wants to have a girlfriend, have her not be, you know, have her not be annoying and not impede on his stream. But also he doesn't want to be fucking alone. You know, that kind of thing. It's weird. Drop the bag of $1.99. How is it not obvious to leave her alone, urinal? <laughs> you're right, no. but I'm not the one that's giving the shit. <laughs> what can I do to like make you have fun or be happier? Like, what can I possibly do so we could stop this right now? There you go. You see how you're able to like talk to me and conversate every time I'm on stream and I look at you and I'm like, oh hey, like oh like, I'm like I'm like trying to no, I'm even like trying to be like, hey, how's the weather up there? It just fucking growling stares and just like demonic looks of just like, oh how dare you? How dare TTF? Demonic looks. <laughs> He's calling his girl a demon. <laughs> It's like you just hate the streams, you hate what I do, and you hate what's going on. That's just what it feels like. And I, and this is just my life. I've been doing this before I even knew you, so I don't even know what. The oh, how do you get away with this shit, man? Honestly, I, I, how do you get away with this? Who do I need to find? Whoa, I was doing this before I met you. <laughs> you simply do not matter. <laughs> Nobody knows who you are. Yo. Yuri on fucking demon time right now, bro. He's been hanging out with Sharp way too much. You just hate the streams. You hate what I do. And you hate what's going on. That's just what it feels like. And I and this is just my life. I've been doing this before I even knew you. So I don't even know what the fuck I can do here. You started this, though. You put me in this position. Okay, yeah, just, just, like, I don't know. Drop Yuri it. dropped a bag of $1.99. Finally, it's my time to talk. Sorry, Harmonious Gang. I've been super stressed. Jesus Christ, man. Honestly, just even the texture chats. Can't you just turn off the texture chats when it's something that's insulting your girl or making it awkward? Can't you just turn that off for a little bit, brother? But no. For some reason, he can't. For some fucking reason, he can't. What an absolute weirdo type of person, man. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Oh! One more, one more, one more awkward one. We're interested in the... Witnessing the death of a relationship in real time is absolutely hilarious to see. Let's do it one more time. Come on, Yuri. Show us how to be a good boyfriend. What's going on? Nothing. You texted me, though. Nothing. nothing What's nothing, going on? Nothing. I don't You know, to... like, we're not going to be able to ever get over anything if you can't just talk on I'm camera when, I, when I'm on... I'm gonna. The then why did you come on the strip when I'm gonna be on camera the whole time? I don't have a fight so you're gonna camera. say nothing the whole no, time? No, I'm not saying that I'm not. It's gonna not. Say no, anything, you don't have to have a fight. fight. It's like you have to be able to conversate. Okay. You've been like absolutely mute. <laughs> the way he's talking down to her is fucking brutal. You don't know how to conversate. Why did you come on this trip if you knew I was going to stream? I was doing this before you. You do not matter. Like he is talking down to her so badly. Yo, <laughs> this is fucking insane. That girl must really love this boy because I don't understand how you'd put up with this shit. <laughs> He's insulting her intelligence, gaslighting her. Like, it's fucking crazy. Oh my God. Dude, I'm not in a good mood. You're, te you're like texting me right now, right? I'm on stream. It's like, if you're going to text me, you might as well talk about it. What is it? I'm don't want to fucking keep ruining your stream like, you're not right no, now you are you keep telling me that I'm, i've made oh you see that i don't want to keep ruining your stream he didn't even comfort and say no you're not i'm just trying to talk this through babe he said no you are now he didn't even try and comfort her he just said yeah you are <laughs> did he did he say that i don't know ruining your stream you're like, not right no, now you are you <laughs>
<laughs> right now you are. You didn't even try and comfort her like, nah, babe, don't worry. You're not ruining my stream. I just want us to talk through our issues here. I don't want it to be tense because I'm going to be on stream for a while. Don't listen to the chat. They're just trying to troll. Whatever. Just comforting words. Nothing. No, you are now. <laughs> You're ruining my stream right now. You're wasting my time right now. <laughs> You keep telling me that I'm, I make you unhappy and all. I'm not saying you're making you me unhappy. No. You did. You said that I no, make I did, you unhappy. No, I did. No, I did not say that. Okay. I'm saying that you you're making it bring... difficult. Okay. Why can't you just? <laughs> I'm not saying you're making me unhappy. You're making it difficult. I love when guys get into their semantic bags and stuff like this. I love it. I love it. The semantic thing is fucking awesome. Those kind of games do not work well with girls. They fucking hate it. It actually makes them way more angrier. But guys love it. I know I do it sometimes. That's semantics. No, no. I didn't say happy. I said... Uh, oh, I fucking love it. Just talk. You just want to... Like, if I... You you, like, no, you want, you want me... You, to, you, you want me to off. assume what's wrong with you I, constantly. You me off. I don't want to yell in here, especially when... You don't have to yell. You don't need to talk. Done. So am I. Technical issues. So you go in the, Yeah, I go pee. No, no, you're right. People are saying it. The women are a bit annoying as well. Not going to lie. He's a bit of a knob, but she's... Real yeah, cool. Of course. But I think in a relationship between a man and a woman or whatever, one person has to take the position of being the... What's that thing called? The diffuser. You can't have both going back, to, back and forth trying to catch each other out. That's not going to work. It leads to more arguments. And usually it's a sign that you're not compatible. One person has to kind of be like, you know what? Cool. No worries. I understand where you're coming from. Let's not talk about this too much. Let's try and fucking resolve this. I want to I wanna get it back. Let's make up again. Let's make this good. How can we move on? Whatever. Someone has to be the diffuser. You can't just be both amping each other up. Like going to this place where you're both going to explode and you're going to start saying some mad shit to each other that you can't take back. That's the issue at hand. No one wants to kind of like pull back and be like, okay, cool. Fair enough. I understand where you're coming from. You know, I, I said my thing. I get where maybe what I said could have come across to you a different way. Let's just resolve this. Someone has to do that. And I feel like usually in this type of situation, it should be the responsibility of the dude. Because in most relationships, girls are usually better at, you know, arguing and shit. So if that's the case and you're not a confrontational type of guy and you're kind of chill, it's your responsibility to kind of maybe diffuse it so you can have a good life. You know, no stress. You can chill out. You won't have her fucking giving you daggers behind your head. It works for everybody. So defusing is basically the name of the game, in my opinion. We can't even celebrate that we got here and I have a good time. No, we have a negative ass Nancy over here. In the oh, honestly, he's talking to other people about her complaining. Yo. Yo, you could not get away with this with any other girl. Honestly, Jesus Christ, bruh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We can't even celebrate that we got here and I have a good time. Do, no, we have a negative ass Nancy over here in the corner, dude. Stop being a negative Nancy. Bruh. Robo dropped a bag of $3. Honestly, Token Ally got a wholesome vibe tonight. Wow. <laughs> Calling your girl a negative Nancy on live stream in front of fucking company? Woo! That's what you know you want to break up. I want to be single. I want to be a bachelor. I want to be on my own. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. I'm going to call you a negative Nancy. That's what you're definitely doing, man. But anyway. 